Is this chair the secret lab killer? Let's find out. What's up guys, it's Neps again with yet another review video. Today we're gonna unbox and review a package sent by Muso. So I'm really excited to unbox this thing because upon checking their website, this chair actually looks pretty similar to the Secret Lab, but it's much cheaper. And as a Secret Lab owner myself, I'm pretty curious if this could be a good alternative or if it could be even better than the Secret Lab. So let's find out. And let's unbox this thing. Our friends at Muso sent me the Muso 300A Aeolo series, which comes in either leather or fabric. The one they sent me is the fabric version in black and blue, which kind of fits my theme. Upon unboxing, you'll find all the different parts of the chair, wrapped and secured really well with foam and bubble wrap. It also comes with an instruction manual, which is very detailed and straightforward, along with the necessary tools which you need to assemble the chair. The assembly is super easy, and it took me only about 30 minutes to assemble the chair. And if you have already assembled a Secret Lab chair in the past, the process is literally the same. Let's move on with the design and build of this chair. This chair literally looks like a Secret Lab. And I love how they didn't cut any corners on the production. The materials they used feel very high quality and the chair itself feels sturdy and could last for a remarkably long time. On top and in the middle, you can see the Muso logo embroidered which is also seen on the lumbar pillow and the neck pillow. The stitch lines were also done very clean and neatly, and I love how it just adds to the look of the chair. There's also another Muso logo on the seat and a play to win text at the back. The base is made out of heavy duty metal which feels rock solid, while the wheels are super smooth as expected from a high-end gaming chair. According to their website, it has a capacity of 180 kilograms, and it is suitable for people who are 160 to 190 centimeters tall. As for the functionality, this chair features a 4D armrest which you can move up and down, forward and backward, side to side, and also move inwards or outwards. The chair reclines from 90 degrees up to 135 degrees and has a 4 level gas lift. There's also a recline lock which you are able to enable by sliding in the gas lift lever. Let's talk about comfortability. And not to exaggerate, but when I first sat on this chair, it just felt as good as a secret lab if not better. I'm not sure if this is because this is the fabric version as I only tried the leather versions of the Secret Labs but this chair actually felt better when I first sat on it. Add the memory foam lumbar pillow and the neck pillow and I can easily sit for hours in this chair without any back pain. Now this is probably the most awaited part. The price. The Muso Aeolus A300 costs 11,998 pesos. But upon checking their website, you can add the voucher code MUSO2023 and get an additional 15% discount, which makes the final price 9699 That's crazy. That's literally half the price of a secret lab. The shipping was incredibly fast too. I ordered the chair and got it right away the next day, which really surprised me. Since this whole video is based on comparing the MUSO to the secret lab, let's talk about the key differences about these chairs and what the MUSO might lack compared to the more expensive Secret Lab. Let's list this as pros and cons of the Muso. Our first pro is definitely the price. At the price of 11998 plus the 15%, you can already get two Muso chairs for one Secret Lab, which has the same build, same quality, and provides you the same amount of comfort. I also noticed that it is actually lighter than a Secret Lab and would make moving places much easier because that chair is heavy. On top of that, the shipping is also lightning fast. As for the cons, if I had to be nitpicky, the lever is in kind of an awkward position. And for me, it is a bit hard to reach at times, especially when I try to lift it up. I would prefer if they moved it just a little bit more forward or made the handle face the other way around. Another thing which took me a couple of minutes to figure out was that when I tried to descend the chair, I had to push against the back of the chair a bit for it to be able to go down. It also reclines only up to 135 degrees as compared to the 165 degrees of the Secret Lab. Another feature that it lacks is that you can't lock the chair when you are leaning back. It only locks when it is in its default position. And lastly, the neck pillow isn't magnetic. I never really liked the design of the neck pillows with straps because they never really get into the position where it feels comfy. I always just remove it or use it without attaching it to the chair to make it feel comfortable. So what are my overall thoughts on this chair? 
Personally, I think this chair is the best alternative to the Secret Lab and it comes at half the price. Honestly, if you'd ask me if this chair was out when I first bought my Secret Lab, I would have just gone with this chair instead. The cons that I mentioned earlier aren't really deal breakers for me as I rarely even use those features. So for those who are in the market for a new gaming chair, I would definitely recommend the Muso over the Secret Lab. So what do you guys think? Would you get the more expensive Secret Lab or the much cheaper Muso, which is just as good? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And for more review videos, please check out my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!